Hello there, Playground Sessions YouTube subscribers. I'm Phil, and today I'm super pumped to be teaching you how to play Side to Side by Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. We're going to be learning the chorus to that tune from the Playground Sessions intermediate level of arrangement. And that chorus is also the intro. It comes throughout the whole tune, so this is going to be a big chunk of this song. And that section sounds like this. break this down starting with our right hand first things first take a look at our key signature three sharps F sharp C sharp G sharp that tells us we're in the key of a major or F sharp minor those are related keys when we take a look at the left hand part in a bit we'll narrow in on exactly which key it is because it depends on what chords we use a lot of the time so a major or F sharp minor three sharps in our key signature our time signature is two two Similar to 4-4, four, four, which has four beats per measure, 2-2 two, two is essentially just cutting that time in half. But it's more about the feel. We're not actually literally only doing two beats per measure because that would be 2-4. Two, 2-2 four. Two, two means 4-4 four, four, or common time in a half time feel. This allows us to take complex rhythms and boil them down into a little bit easier. So that's what we've done here in our intermediate arrangement. Let's talk hand position. This is a tricky one because we have three sharps and they're all throughout our melody here. So our first position starts with some F sharps. So we're gonna be in an F sharp minor position, which looks like this. Okay, so the first line, our top half of this section, we're gonna be in this position the whole time. When we move down to our second half, we're gonna stretch down a little wider. We're gonna put our thumb on E. Okay. And we're down here for the rest of the section. So we have F sharp minor position. And then halfway through, we're gonna move down thumb to E, and then we're kind of in an E major position. Let's set our metronome to a slow tempo for this. We're gonna do it at 10 BPM which is really super slow. We would never perform it at that speed. But this will allow us plenty of time to walk through these notes and rhythms and hand position changes as we go, and I can help you out with some tips. So let's start with 10 BPM. Let's walk through this super slow. So again, right hand gets up into F sharp minor position. F sharp with our thumb. Third finger on A. Fourth finger on B. We're gonna start with a measure of rest, and then we get into it in the second measure. That's like the pickup measure into the whole section, right? So measure three really is our first measure of the chorus. What we're doing here in the first two measures are pickup measures. So we'll start with rest. Now measure two, we're gonna play three F sharps in a row with our thumb. We go up to A with our third finger, and fourth finger plays B to start the next measure. We'll hold that for two counts, and then we're going to rest for two counts. Our following measure starts the same way. We do a rest for a beat and a half, and then we play three F sharps with our thumb. Back to A. Now fourth finger on B for the next measure. Fifth finger C sharp, back down to B with four, and we will rest. All right, now we've got a handful of beats here resting. So take a look at our final note of this line, third finger on A, but then look ahead. Our very next note is a B with our fourth finger. So we'll play A now. Now look down, move on to B. Good, A again, B, up to C sharp. Here's where we change. Three on A, two on F sharp. Now thumb on E. Very subtle change. Now three on G sharp, two on F sharp, one on E. Back to G sharp with third finger, two on F sharp, one on E. Next measure, F sharp half note. It's the end of our chorus phrase. Now we rest for two. 
And in this final measure, we're actually going to play pickup notes to the verse. So it'll seem weird on its own, but we're going to play a handful of E's with our thumbs now. Here we go. And again, that's just a pickup to the verse melody, which we will not be covering in this video. If you want to learn the rest of the parts to this song, make sure you tap the card above to head to PlaygroundSessions.com, get the app, and finish this out. All right, but let's keep it moving now with the right hand at a medium tempo. We're going to play along with our original backing tracks to make it feel like we're playing with the whole song. And we're going to do it at a medium tempo, so let's do it. Now, our full tempo for this song is 160 BPM. But because we're in cut common time, I'm setting my metronome to 80 BPM. We're cutting that in half. And that's for the full tempo. For our medium tempo in Playground Sessions, we want to do 100 BPM. But again, because it's cut common time, I'm going to cut that in half and set my metronome to 50 for this medium tempo walkthrough. And let's do it. Hand up in position. Starting with F sharp. Here we go. Rest. Same idea. Now pinky up to C sharp. Good. Now, three on A, then look ahead. B. Job. Now a bunch of E's to end it. Okay, so that's our medium tempo. Please do that as many times as you need with me to feel comfy with it before moving on to the full tempo, which we'll do right now. Nice work. Let's try the left hand chords now, and then we'll put them together at the end. We've only got three chords in this section, but they're a little tricky because they've all got black notes, and they're all slightly different shapes. Now we'll talk about the rhythms in a second, but for now let's just look at the chords on their own. Our first chord is F sharp minor. We're playing it with our one, two, and four fingers. The reason for that is because our second chord is C sharp minor over E. That looks like this. So notice. My third and fifth fingers were already ready to go on that chord. That's why we play our first chord with one, two, four. One, two, four. Look at my third and fifth fingers are ready to go for my second chord. So here's F sharp minor. Here's C sharp minor over E with one, three, five. All right, our third chord is D major. We're going to just drop down to a root position D major with one, three, five. And that's it those three chords. So one more time, it's F sharp minor, C sharp minor over E, and then D major. Now the order of these chords in this section goes like this, F sharp minor, C sharp minor over E, and then we're actually going to go back to F sharp minor, then C sharp minor over E again. Next we have D major, now C sharp minor over E again, Finally, F sharp minor. Now, in terms of the rhythm for this, we are going to be playing on beat two and beat four of our measure. Never on beat one until the very last measure. But throughout this whole section, until the last measure, we never play on beat one. It's only beat two and four. And it's going to sound kind of like a reggae feel. This is the feeling that we get when we play chords on beat two and four. So let's try that. F sharp minor, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Then C sharp minor, same thing. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the pattern throughout this whole section. But as I mentioned, when we get to the final measure, we'll go one, two, three, four, one, and we'll play on beat one. And that's it. So let's try this at our medium tempo. We're gonna set our metronome here in playground to 50 BPM, and let's walk through it. So one, two, four for our first chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. C sharp minor. Back to F sharp minor. C sharp minor again. Look ahead. Move down to D major. Back to C sharp minor. And finally F sharp minor. Here comes B one now. There we have it. Let's go ahead and bring this up to speed at 80 beats per minute. Here we go.
excellent work. Now, let's take the right hand and left hand parts and gel them together. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this section is going to be tough to put together because of the syncopated rhythms in the left hand and because of the hand position changes and black notes that are spread throughout this part in both hands. So this is an example of a song that you really need to practice many, many times with the hands individually and also many, many times with the hands together at the slow tempo before trying to put them together at the full tempo. So let's just kick this off with our medium tempo of 50 beats per minute and I'm gonna do my best to give you tips as we play and then I'm gonna have you repeat that many times, okay? Here we go, let's get in position, starting with the right hand. Take, for example, measure four above. We see left hand plays by itself, then right hand plays by itself, but then when the right hand goes to that high A, left hand plays that chord together. So that measure sounds like this. See where they play together there. That's the kind of thing you want to look out for when you're putting this together. Where do the hands play together and where do they not? Where do they take turns? Okay, That's going to be a helpful tool for you to put this together. All right, let's go ahead and do this at full tempo. But before we do, I want to tell you, just like with all the rest of these videos on YouTube, when you want to learn the rest of the parts to these songs, tap the card above, playgroundsessions.com, download the app. The app is amazing. It's got all parts to all songs, all difficulty levels, not just intermediate, rookie, advanced, all sorts of stuff. We've got theory lessons, boot camps, all sorts of stuff. So check out the app when you're done with this to finish out Side by Side by Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj. All right, here we go. There we have it, side by side. Way to go, guys. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.